Okay, continuing on here, you can see the, <clears throat> the way I finished my fins off here. I did do some editing. <clears throat> Excuse me. I did do some editing on the uh, tail because I didn't like how it was. I reduced the number of steps. I think that, what was it, six, I believe, on both of these. Um, it's not perfect, but it'll do. Uh, now that I'm looking at this, see, see how this anchor point is almost touching that line? That's pretty distracting. Whenever you see that, you should either bring it off the uh, line or extend it all the way. So either something like this, which looks good. Okay. You don't want that. Let me do a command Z. So you, you don't want like um, incidents where lines are almost touching, but not quite. I mean, either pull them off the line or, <coughs> or uh, move them away. So that looks much better. Uh, let's see. What was I going to say here? Um, Oh, we have to add the stripes now. So here is our uh, photo reference. And you can see if we followed this uh, the way we'd have like these black areas, basically three large black areas in this stripe here. And when I first drew this, before this, I started this video, I had something like this as the interpretation. Uh, but I did use some artistic license and I ended up with this, which I like better. Okay, it's, does it look like the, the tiger barb tropical fish? No, I guess not. But I like these because it shows the contour of the body and it, it gets the point across. Um, so again, this is a stylized geometric fish. No one, you know, we're not doing a naturalistic uh, representation. So what we're going to do is something like this interpretation like these well we got one two three four five stripes and a little thingy on the tail there and we're going to use the pen tool to do that so come over to your layers palette lock down your raise layer so we don't mess them up make a new layer called stripes and i think for the purposes of this demonstration um i'm only going to do a couple of these and I'll let you hack your way through the the rest of them so I'm gonna kind of follow this stripe but uh, make it a little bit more severe so let me zoom in here P for pen tool and again uh, as I work on this you know I'm, I might make some variations and changes you know I just see how the drawing goes anyway so everything's locked down I'm on the stripes layer I'm gonna click hold drag stay on the line of the body click hold drag this is okay we'll come back and edit it with our handy dandy anchor point tool I like how this black stripe like goes behind the eye so I'm gonna keep that I'm gonna come down about here and make a pretty severe curve because I want to like kind of like um, well, what's the word exaggerate the the curves okay so now what the heck do I do well I'm gonna have to come back and edit this point with the anchor point tool so I'm gonna come back here to my origin click hold and drag and pull it in this way and I got a lot of editing to do here because this this is all messed up this looks weird okay so let's first do uh, the anchor point tool and fix this down here shift C I'm gonna grab this handle and pull it up this way so now I get this like nice shape like this um, I have to activate the the white arrow so I can see these anchor points and I have to make a decision here um, I might be able to just snip off well no I, I better not do that okay so I use the white arrow to activate this anchor point shift C to get the little anchor point tool and then I can edit just one half of the curve so I can get that pretty close to laying down there now don't be afraid to use your zoom tool. You can hit the letter Z on your keyboard to zoom in. So what do we got here? Anchor point tool. 
pull that in. I could probably snip this off now. Let's see what happens. And that worked. Okay. Um, now let me do a command zero to, whoops, wrong. I hit the wrong, <laughs> sorry. There's a huge microphone in front of my keyboard, so I gotta like look over this, so sorry about that. Okay, so what do we gotta do here? This looks okay. Uh, this could be better. Okay. I think this is working okay. Um, something this this line is like too straight, like you know what I mean? Okay, that looks better. Okay, let me deselect. Now the tricky part was using the, uh, the when I zoomed in and I used and I used the uh, anchor point tool to, to fix this. In fact, when I look up in here, um, if this was a professional job, uh, you might think it's nitpicky, but see how that little bump is there? That's not good. I would take the time to fix that, which that's close enough. And let me back up here again. Z, holding on the option key, blah, 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 blah. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, maybe you can tweak this stuff forever and ever for all eternity. So that might be better like that. All right, so that's, I showed you how to draw one uh, stripe there. So what I want you to do let me back up again here and show you this. So we got one, two, three, four more stripes in this tail piece, which I'll show you how to put on. Um, just use the pen tool. Start like right here, you know, in front of this uh, fin. Click, hold, drag. Click, hold, drag. Click, hold, drag. Now look, is this perfect? No way. It's it's all messed up. You got to go back and edit it. Go back to the first anchor point. Click, hold, drag. Use your Shift C, your anchor point tool, and you want this like nice concave shape here. Go back to your white direct select tool to select the anchor point, so you have access to these points with the uh, the white arrow, the direct selection tool. You can guide where the um, curvature goes. I'll zoom in here. I'll do this one more time for you guys. This is the tricky part to get this path aligned with the body. So let me let's zoom in. Z for zoom tool, and just click a few times so we're really zoomed in there. Um, direct select tool so I can see both anchors. Okay, so I'm going to do Shift C, and I'm going to grab this anchor. Whoop! I missed it. See, like I can edit one side of the curve, you know. So like I can bring this down, and I can pretty much get very, very close to what this is. Grabbing this handle, pulling that in with a handy dandy um, anchor point tool. You can like make these really, very precise moves again if this was a professional job you see this little bump there that's not good um let's see if i can fix that and i don't know if i'll be able to there you go that's better so you got to be really cognizant of these very very small details you can see where the paths are like kind of blobbing together there that i'm not even gonna for this exercise i'm not going to worry about that um, where are we at here? So, and again, you can grab this anchor point down here and move it around. So you, I'll give you guys some creative license. Uh, put in some similar stripes. On this area here, now that I'm looking at my tail, I kind of extended it too far. 
Uh, no, I, not really. I, I think this is okay. I'm not going to be overly concerned about it. So P for pen tool. Same process. But you're making like this um, shape. And what you want to do is cover up the uh, this area here so this this isn't perfect I have to go back in here and edit this but like if I fill it you can see what's what's happening here so let me turn off my again this folks this is not good I'll have to go in there and edit this I'll have to edit this so I, I just but you can like throw in a shape like this but let me show you here so if I select these and I fill them that that's what we're aiming for so put in like maybe let's see one like two or three more of these stripes um, while I'm here what the heck let me edit this thing so I got I um, direct select tool shift C direct select tool get that on the path there shift C and look at this one here let me zoom in on this to show this is a common mistake whoa and let me go like this okay common mistake folks is to have a twisted path like this so with a direct select tool, you got to see where your anchors are, and you got to like um, untwist them. Okay. See that? Let me do that again. Twisted. Direct select tool. Untwisted it. Now with my Shift C anchor point tool, I can grab this, and that's not good. It's not following the path. So I grab this handle there's a little bumpy there so I'm gonna fix that so you really gotta be very detail oriented with this stuff this is just um, not a complex project and it's just a uh, an exercise but still you should get into the habit of um, looking for these small small uh, mistakes and addressing them um, this one I'm having trouble with here and if it was easy everybody would do it right okay so that's still a little bumpy there and that's not perfect but for this for what I'm doing here any amount of time I have left to spend on this um, that's okay so anyway that's where I'm gonna leave you off uh, put in a few more stripes here and then uh, I'll see you in the next video